The TCU Horn Frogs won 13 games in 2022. They went all the way to the college football playoff final, and Sonny Dykes won Coach of the Year. However, they were just five and seven last year. Can Sonny Dykes get the Horn Frogs back on track? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, I got to tell you about a promotion we have available at wagertalk.com. From now until August 31st, you can get all my football picks through the end of September. That's college football, NFL football, and NFL preseason for one low price of 249 bucks. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I do my homework over the summer, and the results have been outstanding, particularly in the last two years. I was 41-12 and 12 with college football in August and September the last two seasons, and when you add in NFL and NFL preseason, 75% winners. That will line your pockets with the green stuff. You can get that right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That's the Wager Talk deals page. However, there is no purchase necessary. You're not obliged to buy anything. You can feel free to absorb the free content, get the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you smash that like button, which will allow me to keep on putting out these free picks. Let's get into it. We're talking TCU at Stanford in week one. The Horned Frogs are an eight and a half point favorite, and the total is sitting at 61. The bookmakers think this one might get a little bit pointsy. Not surprising when you see a, a team with Sonny Dykes as the head coach. Uh, last year, this Horned Frogs team struggled. Uh, the quarterback, Chandler Morris, got off to a rough start, and then Josh Hoover took over. He started six games, and uh, I wasn't really aware until I started digging into it, but this kid put up some monster numbers for the Horned Frogs. He averaged 340 yards per game in the six games he started, 13 touchdowns and seven picks. And what's even more impressive is that was the toughest stretch of their schedule. Those starts came against BYU, Kansas State, Texas Tech, Baylor, Texas, and Oklahoma. And uh, typical Sonny Dykes offense. He was slinging it around the yard and putting points on the board, and perhaps a typical Sunny Dykes defense, they were giving up their fair share of points as well. I think the offense is going to be in good shape for the Horned Frogs. They, re they get two of their top three receivers from last year back, and they've got Boise State transfer coming in that's uh, expected to be a, a key player on offense. And then you face a Stanford defense that ranked 129th nationally last year, and gave up the most passing yards in the country. Uh, Stanford's in a tough spot. Uh, head coach Troy Taylor inherited a team that was in complete disarray. And it was actually amazing that he managed to get three wins last year, all three wins coming on the road, uh, a stunning 46-43 overtime win at Colorado, a 37-24 win at, high, at Hawaii, um, and a 10-7 win at Washington State. Put an asterisk by that one. There was bad weather in that game, uh, a lot of chaos. Stanford's offense is in pretty reasonable shape. They get their quarterback back, Ashton Daniels. They're bringing back two of their top receivers. Uh, I think they're going to be able to get some points on this Horn Frogs team, but the total's pretty high. Uh, my biggest... Uh, the thing that I'm most confident about is that TCU will get their points. And for that reason, I'm going to look at the team total. Of course, early on, we're at least a month ahead of time here in uh, late July. And uh, there's no team totals available at most sports books, but we have the line and we have the total. And as I've said in the past, if you got the line, you got the total, you can uh, come up with a pretty good estimate of what the team totals are going to be. For example, if one team's a 10 point favorite, the total sits at 50, you know the projected final score is 30 to 20. And in this game, with uh, TCU being an eight and a half point favorite, total sitting at 61, I'm putting the projected final score at 35 to 26. That gets us right on the number for the total and a half a point away from the spread. Uh, so I'm going to take the Horn Frogs team total over 35 and a half. That's a projected team total. I'd like it up as high as 36 and a half, probably. I think TCU is going to get their points with this uh, young quarterback, Josh Hoover, and uh, a receiving core coming back with and bolstered by a, a Boise State transfer that's supposed to be impactful. So the play is on TCU over 35 and a half 
for their team total. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.